An article in the Huffington Post gave these statistics, statistics for distracted driving. Nine Americans are killed every day from motor vehicle accidents from distracted driving, including cell phone use, texting, or eating. One in four vehicle crashes involve the cell phone. Forty percent of teens say that have been a, a passenger in a car whose driver used a cell phone in a dangerous way. Thirty-three percent of drivers ages 18 to 64 reported reading or writing text messages while driving. In 2013, over 341,000 motor vehicle crashes involved texting. Using a cell phone while driving quadruples the chance of a crash. And a driver can safely glance away from the road for two seconds while it takes an average of five seconds to read or send a text. Traveling at just 55 miles an hour, that's enough time to travel the length of, of a football field. And texting while driving is six times more likely to cause an accident than driving drunk. 46 states have banned texting while driving for all drivers, but despite the common problem of distracted driving, the incidents are slowly decreasing since laws have been placed on texting while driving. In 2013, 3,154 people were killed in texting-related accidents. This is a 6.4% decrease from 2012. And 10% of drivers in fatal crashes under the age of 20 were reported to have been distracted while driving. There are many alternatives to distracted driving. Some of the less effective methods include voice to text typing, setting preset buttons on the radio for station browsing, and many manufacturers have placed volume and tuner controls on the steering wheel and more uh, options like that. While, while these methods are helpful, <clears throat> they are not fully safe. Voice to text messaging still requires you to look at the screen to read an oncoming text or to proofread an outgoing text. Touching the, touching the radio requires taking hands off the wheel and likely taking eyes off the road. Alternatives such as these take our mind off the road, affecting our cognitive awareness as well as our visual awareness. There are, however, a few foolproof methods that will guarantee you a safer driver experience. The obvious is just not to do it. Turn off your phone while you drive. Put it in the glove compartment or on silent so you won't be tempted. AT&T recently released an anti-texting app that shuts off texting and service while driving. Or you can make a playlist of songs on your phone so that you don't have to shuffle through your phone trying to find a solid jam to listen to while you drive. Leave so, or you can leave so that you have enough time to stop at a restaurant and dine in instead of trying to hold together a nine liter burrito while operating a vehicle going 70 miles an hour down the interstate. Wake up on time so you can pretty yourself in the comfort of your own home. Or worst case scenario, just accept the fact that you're going to be late instead of trying to do your makeup in the driver's seat. Let a passenger read messages to you and tell them what to reply. Take your hashtag cruising selfies while in a driveway or parking lot before you even consider putting the car in drive. Or if you're in the middle of a conversation, let the person know before departing that you'll be on the road and unable to talk. No matter the objective, it can wait. It is your life. If you're distracting yourself while driving, you are not only putting you and anyone else in your vehicle in danger, you are putting the thousands of people you drive by on a daily basis in severe danger. Imagine yourself as the driver of that bus having to live with the fact that the lives of children were lost because you couldn't wait to send that text or to read that message. Life is far too fragile to put on the line for something as petty as a text message or a big mess. And we can all work to take the right measures to avoid distracted driving and provide a safer transportation environment for everyone.